here's a quick video review of the new um, Hornby coaches, which is for the new measurement train. Um, the HST ends like the power car and dummy car. Don't believe are actually out yet, um, but the coaches have been released. Um, I got the email um, a few days ago to say that Hornby were releasing them, so I thought I'd better get my hands on some just in case they sell out. Um, here's the uh, they come in the big long uh, pack like that, like a box, and they've got. It comes with the two coaches. One is the Mark III uh, buffet. One's a normal saloon. Uh, it's got the you see on there. So it's got the network rail Mark III TGS number nine nine seven nine nine six, and then the network rail Mark III buffet car nine double seven double nine five, and the train pack. Um, on the box, um, you've got the standard, uh, the part number R four four five seven. And it's got the little diagram on the uh, top there of the train pack, the R2984. Just so say it's not available yet, and then picture of what the train will look like when it's got the main set. Um, a couple of things I've not noticed before, but maybe uh, just because this is something that's obviously fairly new. It's got the items on the end, but it hasn't actually got the part, the R numbers on, so the R, whatever the pack number was. And it's also got the that on the opposite end. Which I haven't seen before. Normally, sometimes you've got the barcode on the end, or the the square bit is not cut out. Um, also, one other thing that I noticed is on the box, and um, I won't get it out, but um, on the um, inside of the box, um, it's got the details about the Hornby Collectors Club that I haven't seen before on the box either. Um, I've already taken the coaches out because it's a bit of a it is a bit of a tight squeeze trying to get the boxes out, so it's a bit of a pain. Um, here's the two coaches come in the. Um, plastic um, trays and packed up with the tissue paper. Also was a pack in one of the boxes of some spare buffers. Um, I'm assuming they must be spares because both of the coaches have actually got buffers on them. I'm not sure if they do on the real um, uh, on the real uh, measurement train because normally the HSTs don't usually have the buffers on them so I'm not sure um, if it's actually thingy to have them on or not. Um, but need to say they do come with them, so I suppose it's a free extra if you can uh, use if you want to take them off and use them on something else. So you've got the the like I say the TGS um, is this one, which is um, it's actually on the um, real train. It hasn't got the um, stripe and slightly different thingy. So you've got it's quite a plain livery. This one it's got the weird window effect there. Quite nice, clear. If I can get it to focus, network rail logos. Um, there's the little windows that end, and you can see number nine double seven double nine six. It's got um, metal wheels on the underside, um, couplings which look like they can be removed actually. So I suppose if they were to get broken again, then you can remove them. Um, standard Hornby, uh, made in China. Let's put all the new stuff. Metal wheels on that end, the same. On the you've got a nice bit of detail on the end there. You've got the C3 and the details. Like I say, it has got the buffers already on it. And then on the opposite side, same, got the coach number there, fairly, like I say, just plain yellow livery. These yellow covered up windows on some of them. You see that? And then you've got the buffet coach. I must say they have got the tinted or the black windows, so you can actually just about see through. So you can see they have got the seats and normal, normal seats put inside. Uh, not sure if this one's got the same. Oh, it has, you can see through that one as well. It's just got normal, normal seats. Yeah. Um, the second coach, um, like I say, has the is the buffet one. It's got a larger network rail logo compared to the other coach, and it's got the blue and white stripe detail down through the middle. Um, this one's nine double seven double nine five, so one less than the other coach. Got a nice bit of detail on the door there, the little not for public use sign, uh, the little um, artificial light there to show you with a little red thing down the bottom, which I assume is some kind of emergency stop thing. And so you've got the smaller windows for the buffet, and then uh, same on the underside, you've got the metal wheels again, removal couplings, and the buffers are on there. Uh, and this one actually just got a different. Slightly different base than this one, it's only got the. Good to see that it's got just Hornby written on there, it hasn't got made in China on that bit. And it's got the smoother bottom rather than the sort of rubbled effect of the other one. 
and then on the reverse side you've got the uh, smaller buffet windows there same detail on the side with the larger logo the white covered up windows there and then you've got the different roof detail as per the buffet cars compared to the sort of plain roof of the other coach so all in all a nice uh, little pack there with the, say the spare buffers I'm not sure if that's a mistake or whether they're meant to be in there um, I'll show you the front of the box one more time the detail you've got they're quite nicely detailed not the most amazing to be honest but um, I think the Hornby price is about £50 I managed to pick them up for just under 45 posted so uh, I think it's a pretty good price, sort of like £22 a coach just over, so can't grumble really. Just looking forward to the, hopefully getting the train pack. And I'm not sure if they're going to do any more coaches as well to make the train longer, or whether I'll have to um, end up buying a couple more packs of these to get a sort of large, I know it won't be more, it'll have certain coaches, but it'll get the sort of full length. So anyway, thanks for looking, hope you like them, thank you.